Hey everyone, so on this week's multifamily learning series, we're going to be clarifying the capital stack. Now what is a capital stack? That's basically all the money or capital that's brought into a deal to create an acquisition of a multifamily apartment building. So imagine a pyramid. At the bottom of the pyramid is the debt service. Now that could be primary or secondary, however it's layered, but the debt service has the most stable position. They get a return. That's the interest rate that you're paying on the loan. The loan is secured by the building, by the real estate. So if you do not pay the bank their preferred return or their interest rate, then the bank can take possession of the building and take ownership of, ownership of it. Now above the primary debt service or secondary debt service, everyone else is called common equity. Common equity makes up the other investors that are in the deal. So the common equity is normally situated into splits, which is like 70% to 30% or 80% to 20%. And basically the larger split, 80 or 70, however it's you know formulated, is goes to the limited partners or the LPs, the passive investors. The 20 or 30% goes to the general partners, the people who are operating the deal, the sponsors of the deal, right? So within those splits, there's also different classes for the common equity. There could be class A, preferred return, which means if the operators are offering a preferred return, that basically means, let's say it's 8%. So anyone who has a class A, 8% preferred return uh, position in the deal, they will get their 8% first before any share or before any operators get any cut of any profits. So let's say you get your 8% first and then whatever profits are left, then the split comes into play and you split 80-20 or 70-30, however that goes. Let's say there's another class, class, class A, without a preferred return. That means you're basically whatever profits after you pay all the expenses, the debt service and everything that gets paid first, any other profits that's cash flow, that's when you refinance, that's when you sell, any of that, that's just straight split with the 70% or eight and 30% or 80% and 20%. There's, there's all kind of ways that this can be split up or the different classes and equity positions. So this is just a really simplistic view to kind of wrap your mind around the concept of how capital is stacked, but basically as you move up the pyramid, your return increases, but so does your risk. So that's why the bank, they get normally a lower return, you know, in today's environment, it's, you know, three, four, five percent, but they also in the less risky position because they have to be paid first. Now, when you're at the top of the pyramid and um, the, the operators are normally at the very top because they're in the riskiest position because they are taking their return last, you know, even after if they're an honorable operator, they're taking it even after their other investors who are in common equity position as well. So in any case, I hope this was very helpful. And until next time, happy investing.